Hey YouTube, it's Player X here with episode 5 of my Let's Play on Sussex Farm. I bought this 6 metre subsoiler, that's going to be a very big help, plus the aggro mass in future. Uh, I decided to go for the Brendel K105 with a tank extension. Today I'm going to be doing lots of odd jobs on the farm. So we're going to be loading up some egg pallets to take down to the farm because we've been using the little boxes but it's just getting a bit out of control. So I think we can have two pallets, one, or, one to be in the egg point and then one in storage so we can swap around when necessary. At the moment our bank balance is at 268,500. It's not too bad. Um, I'm sure it's going to go down at some point. Before it goes up. Because we're going to have to buy maybe another field or a bigger bit of machinery. Just for speed and efficiency really. Once I load these up I'll be down at the farm so I'll see you in a minute Now we're down at the farm, going to unload these into the respective areas. This is probably my favourite bit of machinery at the moment, this Teddy Handler. It is very helpful. So I'm thinking about doing silage soon to make some good money. Obviously I'll have to buy the BGA, but luckily that's only 20,000. That'll probably be in the next episode I'll think about doing that. I've bought another pigsty and we sold 25 piglets from each one since last time I've been on I've recorded uh, we sold the cultivator at the beginning that got 51,000 for that so that's pretty good uh, because we bought a 6 metre plough it kind of made more sense to we could get rid of that and we just plough each time I think that's, I'm quite happy to do that I'll be storing them up in this perfect little pallet holder. <laughs> well, it's not a pallet holder, but that's what I'm going to use it for. That is ideal there. Just got to do the other lot down the other side. 
And now we're going to be picking up the eggs to get rid of these individual ones. Then some person from the local community is going to come down and buy the rest of the boxes off me for a tenner each. That would be quite good. It's handy. They need them for their farm. And they, I don't need to keep them in storage because they're not rotting away because they're in cardboard. Now we're just coming up to the sale point, we're just using the one on the farm for today. There has been talks about the construction company coming to remove it soon. So I'm just making the most of it whilst it's here. I'm going to individually take these off. Then we'll go and load up the trailer again on the second chicken pen. And once we've got all that loaded up, we're going to sell these off. We make about 15 grand, so all in all, it's not too bad. It's a little effort, really. Now, once we've sold all these, the, the next job, which I'm going to speed up, is me ploughing in the wheat round my house and in front of the barns and that ready for replanting Now we're clearing up the pigs, got to do all the odd jobs around the farm, this is what we do most days. Uh, once we feed them, I suppose we had a look at getting them some more straw bedding, uh, giving them more water, and then um, water the orchard I suppose at the very last thing for today. Um, not today obviously but on camera, because it's only half past eleven. Then we'll think about uh, getting some silage really, doing some silage at some point. Because we're looking quite pretty at the moment with over 300 grand because we sold some other bits. So yeah, it's, it's all going okay. It'd be good to get another larger field though I think so we can start getting some proper harvests done just bringing down a small bit of straw for the pigs because they're not that empty but it'd be good just because I've sold 25 of each of them it didn't take very much to fill them up but it's good to keep them topped up oh the pigs are out on the next door's field have to get them back in later empty the straw out just coming up to do the last one which is good they're not actually mixed we've got 20 pinks in one 20 blacks and 20 white and blacks but for some reason they are uh, all sort of mingle in each one which I don't mind but it's just if it looks like they're all mixed they're not now we just got to clear up the chickens they, they don't make too much mess but it's better just to keep on top of it I always do that oh no, let's actually get that done
got to fill this up to take a little bit more down to the chickens once I get in the right zone And so we come to the end of the episode, just have to part the tanker up. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one, probably for a bit of silage. Thanks for watching.